Lost Tyrannus. Make sure you go check out part one if you haven't yet. We can't wait to show you all that Lost Tyrannus has to offer. So today we are going on a road trip. We are going from Las Terrenas down to Samana. About an hour away from Las Terrenas, so it's a great thing to do for just go for a beautiful drive. There's a couple different routes that take you there. We are taking the route though that takes us by the town of Sanchez. So right now we just left Las Terrenas and we climbed up to the top of the hills that are right behind Las Terrenas and we've got this amazing view. Going on a road trip. hectic town. Organized chaos. Yeah, definitely. But we're sitting right on the bay. We're gonna grab a bite to eat and we've got a tour guide named Jose that I guess is gonna have lunch with us. He's <laughs> running to his shop right now to get Pat a cigar. Um, He's super nice but be prepared to they're like get trying bombarded to, by tour guides. Yeah, they're like trying to flag you down at the street like when you're driving and stuff. And just tell him no but he, we told him no and he's just like, well, I'll still just walk with you and hang out. Like, <laughs> he's super okay. nice. And, but if you do want to do it, they'll take you to an island. You can whale watch, ride ATVs, ATVs, but know that you have options if it's something you want to do. Yeah. I, we don't know the cost, but you can do it if you want to. Yeah. Okay, so we ordered mofongo. It's a very local, traditional dish here in the Dominican Republic. It's pretty good. It's different, but... I think it's worth trying. When you pull up any picture of Samana, you'll see this very long, beautiful looking bridge that just goes out to an island. It's just a walking bridge. So we are going to go check it out now. When you're on the Malacan, it's super easy. You just kind of follow the water around the bend. At the very beginning, you kind of walk underneath the small bridge and then you just take some stairs up, walk up to the bridge, and then you get a really pretty lookout on this like private little beach that I think is for a resort. So the bridge goes out to two separate little islands. There's nothing on the islands. And there's these cement trails that literally just goes on for forever. This island's huge. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> fucking stupid. And this is the end point. Ooh, we got a big storm coming in. I love my raincoat. Got the raincoat. Got the backpack in it. Let's go, baby. <laughs> If you've ever seen the Hunchback of Notre Dame, well, I guess it's actually the Hunchback of Samana. <laughs> uh, thoughts on Samana? It's colorful. Yeah. It has a cool bay, but I think it's a one-time visit for me. Yeah, the area around the Malacan is beautiful, and it's definitely worth checking out. The bridge is pretty. We both kind of talked about though where we feel like it's pointless unless there is some like historical or some significant to it significance to it please let us know but otherwise everything else in the town seems very chaotic and just dirty and but we probably haven't given it enough time to totally tell like on its culture and its vibe and everything the drive is beautiful yeah, the drive from Las Terrenas down through Sanchez and over is gorgeous. Or you can also get here by going through El Limon. Once you're tired of the busy towns, give yourself a full day at Playa Cosol. Okay, so we are at Restaurant Luis. It is at Coson Beach, and there isn't a menu or anything. You just walk up and you look in coolers of lobster and fish, and they've got shrimp and a bunch of other seafood, and you kind of just tell them how you want it cooked, and they prepare it for you. They are known for having the best piña coladas, and they serve them in a pineapple. This is going to be my first sip. I'm going to see how it is. 
<laughs> wow. Normally I don't like pina coladas, but this is like, this is incredible. And it's huge, and it's in a pineapple. Can't complain. So we have heard that the lobster here in Las Terrenas is to die for. So we're gonna try it here at Restaurant Luis, but it's pretty pricey. It's 1,200 pesos for one kilogram, and the smallest lobster they had was four kilograms. So it's coming out to around 4,800 pesos, which roughly is like 85 US dollars. That's kind of a lot for just like a little beach shack wanting a nice lunch on the beach. So we decided to go for a fish filet and we came here once before and we just got it grilled. But now this time we got it fried and they serve you the entire fish and they fry the whole thing. So then you just have an entire fish, head, eyeballs, all of it for you to eat. And so I'm excited to try it with it fried. It was delicious when it was grilled. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Look at that. Just pull it off. I think that's better than grilled. I think it has more flavor that way. It is so good. We are at Playa Cason. It's a quick drive from Las Terrenas. It's probably, I don't know, probably only a 10, 15 minute drive from the beginning of town of Las Terrenas. I believe there are two places you can park to access this beach. I believe there's a turnoff called Cosan Bay. And I think that there is a parking at the end of there and it's public parking. Or you can park at Luis Restaurant. I don't know if you have to even eat there. I think you can just kind of park there. It's a big open field but we highly recommend you go and you eat some food there. Something we love about Cosan Beach that there isn't a ton of restaurants, so there is less people here. It's not as popular as some of the other beaches in Las Terrenas. Cosan Beach does get small amount of swells, so there is some surfing here. There are no uh, surf shops though or surf rentals, so you'd have to bring all of your own stuff, and by stuff I guess I just mean a board and your body. At the end of the beach there is a river that flows into the ocean right there. And so that makes the water a little bit dirtier in the ocean. So I think if you stay anywhere from in between Luis Restaurant and the river, the waves are a little bit less and it is beautiful. From turquoise blue waters, beautiful sandy beaches jutting right up against the thick jungle. And you can definitely kind of get tucked away and find yourself your own little secluded piece of paradise. Well, we had a great day at Cosan Beach. If you're in the Las Terrenas area, we highly recommend checking it out. Yes, it's an awesome beach. There's definitely some people, but it's not too crowded. Ballenas, which translates to the whale beach and that is because of these two huge island rocks that are right out here um, they kind of look like whales or at least that's what they're supposed to look like I'm not sure if I totally buy it but either way it's a gorgeous beach it's a shorter beach it butts right up against some rock cliffs that are really pretty that have a bunch of trees on them. There's ample amounts of parking. You just kind of pull off on the side of the road onto the beach and underneath some trees and that's where you park. To get to this beach you have to drive through town and once you reach the water you turn left and you just keep driving and driving and driving until you find a place to park and then you're here. A guy just tried to come up and like sell me jewelry like there's always the vendors that come up to you and this dog came running out of nowhere and just like stood in between the guy and me and started barking at the guy. Super cute dog. It's definitely somebody's dog. It's got a collar on it. But just came and it was like my little protector. 
And now he's just standing guard, making sure I'm okay. I would say uh, Playa Ballenas is a lot more crowded than Playa Cosan. But then there's also a lot of areas that you can just tuck yourself into a secluded area on the beach with no one around you. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we loved exploring Las Terrenas. Our favorite things to do here is hiking to El Limon, hanging with the locals, and relaxing on the beautiful beaches. The Dominican Republic has some of the best beaches we've ever seen, and an added bonus is that they're usually completely empty. It truly is paradise. Be sure to add Las Terrenas to your bucket list. Mm -hmm.